this little video we're going to talk about how to have different themes on different pages of your blog and different posts on your blog. So I've just gone to the WordPress Extend plugin directory and I've installed the page theme plugin which is free and I've just uploaded that through the dashboard of my WordPress blog. Once you've uploaded the plugin go to appearance and page theme which is a new menu and you'll see this screen. Now if you want to have different themes on different pages you can check this box and if you also want different themes on each post on your blog you can also check this box or if you don't you just uncheck it and then click save the settings. Now you need to have installed your themes that you want to use already in appearance and themes so just upload or install any themes that you want to use. You'll see that I have a number of themes already here in the back end that I'm going to use for this example. And currently the theme that is active on my site is called Buttercream. We can see that the front of the site is using this theme and every page in it on the posts on the blog is using the Buttercream theme. So now when I go to Pages and I look at all my pages, I can see that I have this new column here with the theme on it. So my About page currently has the default theme on it. But if I check onto this button, we can see it loads up all of my themes that I already have installed. So we can see them if we just scroll down here. We can see them and we can also see them in the drop down menu. So if for my about post I want to use something different, I can just select it here. So for my about post I might use a uh, Redtopia theme. So I'm just going to check that and check the button down here that says set theme. And we can see now that it shows up the preview of the little red topia theme next to that particular page. So let's uh, set another one. So maybe for the contact form on this one. So just click on it. It's loading them up. So on the contact form, I might want to set uh, this little theme here. So I'm just going to check it. And you can see it comes up with the check mark on it. And we just scroll down to set the theme just over here. Now if we go back up, we can see we get the little preview of that new theme there as well. So let's just uh, view the pages. So this is my about page and we can see that because it's selected here and it's got the about on there. I don't have any content on this site. It's a test site. but. Um, when you are using different themes, make sure that you've set up your navigation so it's not overly cluttered like this one is. Because when you're using the different themes on different pages, you want to make sure that it displays properly. But we can see that we've got Redtopia there, so let's go back and look at the contact page. And here's our contact page with the cute little theme on it now and again I don't have any content on here and if we just went to the front of the site whoops, to visit the site we can still see that we've got buttercream on there so let's set up some posts so if we go to posts and all posts you'll see that I've set the red topia theme for this particular post on water tanks but uh, let's change it over to the aggregate theme and I'm just going to click on that and set the theme and now we can see it shows up aggregate when we mouse over it and we can see the little preview there and let's view that post and there's our aggregate theme using on that particular post and yet if we go back to our test site we can see that we've still got buttercream on there as the front page. So that's how you have different themes on different posts and pages with a free plugin.